hi guys this is Vineet and in this video we will discuss about the rules for regular identifiers so let's go through these rules and uh, in our earlier video we had discussed about identifiers uh, which are the names given to various database objects inside SQL Server like uh, tables, functions, stored procedures, columns and uh, variables etc now uh, let's see what are the rules for regular identifiers the name of the variable functions and stored procedure must confirm to the following rules in following rules for t sql identifiers so these rules are uh, if we are naming anything for example if we are naming a table uh, what should be the rules uh, for the identifier um, for example a table name first letter can be from small a to z or from capital A to z it uh, should not start uh, with a number so any of the letter character can be used but not numbers um, name should not be starting with a number and names can also start with underscore uh, at the rate sign or a number sign and that is fine and subsequent letter can be either letter numbers or underscore at the rate sign or number sign and the name should not be a t sql uh, reserved keyword uh, we will talk about um, these reserved words in our next video and uh, a sp spaces should not be embedded inside uh, names otherwise delimiters has to be used because we are breaking the rules so there should be no spaces within the name and special characters are also not allowed and uh, when identifiers are used inside the t sql statements and those that do not comply with the above rules uh, those should be delimited as we were discussing earlier so they should either be delimited by double quotation marks or by using the square brackets so if any of the identifier names are not conforming to these above rules they should be delimited either with double quotation marks and or square brackets and uh, if we use special symbols like these um, uh, underscore at the rate sign or a number sign so some of these uh, characters like the at the rate or uh, has sign these characters have their uh, special significance in the vari variable names if they are used uh, as a first character in a variable name and there is a certain meaning attached to it when they are preceding any identifier so a regular identifier that starts with that the rate sign denotes a local variable so for example we if we are defining a function or a stored procedure within a sql server and we define a variable name with at the rates and preceding the variable name um, it basically denotes that this uh, variable is local to that particular stored procedure or function and cannot be used outside of that procedure or function and uh, an identifier that starts with number sign or the hash sign denotes a temporary variable for example let me show you so if I say declare um, let me type it so I'm declaring a variable over here um, this is a temp variable here I'm using this is an identifier where I'm using that the red sign so here we are declaring a local variable and uh, we are setting its value to one in the next statement and we can also use um, statements like select uh, let's use one of the tables uh, here I'm taking the categories tables inside the north wind database 
so I'm using a select top 100 star from dbo dot uh, categories and before that uh, I need to select the proper database which is uh, Northwind so let me specify the correct table name which is categories uh, here categories is the table name and dbo is the schema so if I run this statement it will fetch top 100 rows from this particular table um, I think this table have a real less number of rows that's why it has given on me only 8 rows instead of 100 so if we check uh, select star from dba.categories which basically gives us all the rows from the tables so this table only has 8 rows so we are fine so if we want to select this data into any other table instead of star we can put into clause uh, and we put a number sign and we give a temp so here we are saying that um, I think the format is not correct so we need to type into after that so here we are asking SQL to select all the rows from uh, db.categories table and put them into hash temp1 table and I think still the format is not correct let's try to execute this statement so yeah the syntax is not correct give me a second let me check on this so let's put like this select star into hash temp1 from db.categories so here uh, temp1 is using a special character or uh, special symbol uh, which is a number symbol which mentions that this is a temporary variable and um, for a table name temp1 uh, hash is also included in the table name so this is a temporary table and not a permanent one it will not create any of the tables uh, inside here let me show you so if i execute the statement uh, it is giving me the message that eight rows are affected and uh, this table is created and if we refresh the tables section i do not see this table which is temp1 because uh, this is a temporary table created because of this particular symbol and has no permanent storage on the disk and we can also use this table in the select statement like this select star from a hash tab one so this is a temporary table which just got created out of rows from the dbo.categories table and I'm when I'm executing this select statement I'm getting back the eight rows we have put inside this particular table hash temp one and basically this is a temporary table and is available only to this session this session means this particular tab and uh, it has a session ID of 52 you can see here and if I close this session this table will not be available and it will vanish along with the session so let me try to close it and show you that this table will not be available after this so I'm not saving this and creating a new query now if I type select star from hash temp1 so that table will not be available because it was uh, vanished uh, with our previous session as we closed it so temp1 does not exist alright so I think uh, the concept of temporary tables is clear to you and let's go back to the notes so here we are talking about the significance of using the special symbols we have shown you how number sign creates a temporary table or it can create a temporary variable as well or a temporary table and the add the rate sign creates the local variable and if we start a variable with double number signs uh, it denotes a global temporary object instead of a local temporary object so I think uh, we are pretty much clear with the rules for uh, regular identifiers 
and the significance of uh, special symbols we have also seen how we can create temporary tables and uh, also have given you information on uh, information regarding temporary tables uh, that they are limited to the particular session and uh, once the session is closed they are not available to a new session so i would like to thank you for your time and uh, please do subscribe to my channel like this video and hit on the bell icon to get uh, all the notifications regarding my future videos and uh, i thank you once again for your support and uh, you have a nice day ahead